Sasha. Ready. Kellen, <clears throat> what did you like best about how you played tonight? Um, I felt like me and all the receivers, pretty much every player, were on the same page. And um, we got a lot of zone coverage tonight, and I felt like we were able to find the voids. And um, Q did a good job on one of the over routes, you know, feeling uh, just like a big pocket uh, in the middle of the zone. And I was able to throttle down for me. So just pretty much as a whole, I thought me and the receivers were on the same page tonight. Now we'll go to Gabe here in front. How good did you feel about being able to stuff, just get in a rhythm pretty early? And how good did you feel too about making throws under pretty intense pressure? A lot of times, some of your best throws came when they were right there. Um, yeah, I felt pretty comfortable all night, and um, I just kind of goes back to off season. You know, I prided myself on a lot of footwork stuff. Um, you know, just keeping my same base, and you know, always got to no matter what, trust your offensive line and back to pick something up. Obviously, I know I'm going to get hit um, some plays, but. Um, just got to trust your eyes and, you know, feel the rush. So I feel like just kind of a lot of the work that I put in this offseason kind of led me to have a good game tonight. Stay on the right with Jimmy. Do you feel like you've learned anything about your team tonight now that you guys finally got to be in a real game and out of practice? Um, I, thought, I thought our physicality was pretty good tonight. Um, I feel like it's going to have to uh, get better for next week. Um, but, you know, we're... You know, we're striving for excellence and you know it takes everybody so even my I gotta play better I can't have a turnover in the red zone how I did tonight so I mean, it's gonna take everybody to you know, be Clemson. Right in the front of Travis. How would you rate your performance tonight as far as making uh, accurate throws and, and really important pinpoint throws kind of fitting into windows? Um, I, I thought it was really good and like I said before I felt like the receivers we we're all on the same page and um, you know, we rep these plays, and we know exactly what they're going to run. They didn't show it that much on the defensive side tonight, but um, pretty much on everything, we know exactly, you know, how you know, the receivers are going to adjust to it, whether they're going to keep a high on a flag route, break it off. Or, so just a lot of adjustments in this offense, and I feel like, you know, I was able to trust my receivers, and they did exactly what they were supposed to do. So, Do you think it was your best game in that regard in your, your Ever, college career? Um, I really don't. Possibly, I don't know. Maybe if I didn't have the interception, but that's, that was a big one for me. Go to Sam and Justin on the left, and then back to Brent. Kellen, uh, Jay Sean and Spiller both had some pretty big performances tonight. How valuable a weapon are those guys, and, and how what have you learned about them as they've stepped into kind of a more uh, bigger role with Trey Young on? Um, I thought they had a really good night, and you know, obviously they weren't busting out runs, but you know keep getting four or five, six yards, you know, that just chunking away at more yards. And, you know, it really helps when they could go out wide and catch stuff out the backfield and, you know, just a really versatile back. So I thought they did a really good job tonight. Staying on the left, Justin. Kellen talked during the week about the timer in your head, kind of getting faster if you know when to either get out or do something with the ball. And Jimbo had said you got to your third and fourth reads tonight. Just how quickly are you processing the defense and what they're trying to do to you guys? Um, I mean, it was pretty quick tonight. and. I prided myself a lot in training my eyes and, you know, like you said, that timer in your head. Um, but, you know, based on the coverage, you know, I kind of know exactly where to go with the ball. And, you know, you could try to, you know, I just have to trust my eyes and trust my reads and, you know, deliver, deliver the ball with confidence. And um, I felt like we were both offense, uh, the whole offense was on the same page tonight in the last game. Right to the right to Brent, and then Kirk, and then Christy. Coach Fisher said y'all didn't do anything with Clemson in the past week, didn't talk about it. He said, that's a fact. How difficult was that for y'all to avoid Clemson talk or anything involving Clemson? Um, I didn't, I mean, personally, I didn't think it was that hard. You know, we we're going to take it one game at a time. And, um, you know, all my effort and preparation and everything was into Texas State. Um, so, I mean, all the stuff that I worked on, you know, they came out and ran the same exact stuff that I prepared. So. Just, we're going to have to take it one game at a time. So now we're going to start, you know, Clemson uh, working on that probably tomorrow, and then we'll go on from there. Kirk on the right. Uh, Kelvin, with the struggles of the Hill secondary last year, uh, what were your impressions of their improvement uh, tonight? And do they pick you up much in practice? Um, you know, they had a really good game tonight. I think four interceptions. Um, and, but sometimes that goes to a defensive line, but I feel like the whole defense was on the same page tonight. And, you know, I think last year, some of those plays they weren't making, but, you know, I feel like just some of the work that they put in this offseason and, 
you know, them being able to go up against this offense, and I feel like iron sharpens iron, so, you know, we kind of go back and forth, but, um, you know, I feel like they had a really good night tonight, and we're going to need that next week, too. Are you on the right to Christy? Now that you've gone through this first game, how much do you look forward to and relish the opportunity to play against the number one team in the nation? Um, you know, I'm excited. It's just another opportunity for us. Same thing as tonight. Um, uh, we just get to go out and face uh, another opponent. Just, you know, coach always emphasizes it's a faceless opponent. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We got to go in this whole week, prepare, and, you know, just focus on us and what we can do. Wrap it up with Justin on your left. I'm pretty sure Jamon went without a touchdown last year. How nice was it to get him on that fade round of the one and just, uh, I think, six catches overall for him tonight? Just him being in the offense, kind of what's that do for you guys? Um, I was excited for him, and, you know, we, we kind of knew we were going to call that going in, and, you know, he actually asked him what, what he wanted to run, and he called that fade route. So um, just, you know, kind of be Jimbo and, you know, the receivers being on the same page uh, is kind of how I talk about in the offseason, de developing that trust that we have. Um, so he was able to make a great catch in the back corner, and, um, but, you know, many more to come this, this season. All right, Phil, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs>